We see our long-term plans to be headquartered in Manchester, but we can see having regional offices as a, as a potential consideration. But really, um, the heart of Telcom is winning the right way, and we feel there's no better place in Europe for Telcom to be headquartered than Manchester, given its social DNA. Um, we think that's key to attracting and retaining top talent. People now want to win the right way. Making money is a bit, is a bit boring. Like, I don't want to be the richest guy in the graveyard. Like, we, we want to be the kids to change the country's internet. So we feel like we're, we're based in the best place in the country to do that. We did a research report back in 2012 about where's the best place to create a tech business. Uh, that was the Tech Britain uh, piece of work that's become the National Tech Nation report. And it's very clear to us, having studied tech clusters around the world, Manchester's got all the data points to be a, a top five European uh, tech city. Um, so we're completely convinced on what's here. Absolutely love Manchester. Uh, I love the people, the quality of life. Uh, it's got a global brand. You, know, you can go anywhere in the world pretty much and people have heard of Manchester. The engineering cost of, say, having engineers based in Silicon Valley. Um, and I feel like the engineers in Manchester is, uh, are as good as anywhere else on the planet. So. We've got a real deep, rich engineering talent pool that um, we're very, very proud to, to uh, be able to add to and, and, and benefit from. I look at Manchester as the, as the hub in the north, rightly or wrongly, and um, I think with the, the airport you can get access to, to nearly every major city now in the world. I feel like my generation cares more about impact than just making a pound note. So. I feel like Manchester screams social DNA. So you know, we, we constantly try and give back free internet co connections wherever we can to good causes. And I feel like the, the talent pool in the Northwest um, has got the ability to be able to operate at a world-class level, but also uh, is a big believer in inclusive growth. You know, you go to some of the global cities around the world, they'd be, co be quite cold and um, quite individualist, where I feel there's more of a collective community spirit here in, in the city so you know we, we try and, and think about how we can help other businesses uh, in the city because there's a lot of people in Manchester that have helped us uh, and that, that that's been a massive that, that's the reason why we're doing so well today.